Uh, hello, I'm Ying Wei Wang from SAS. In this video, I introduce the lasso and the elastic selection methods in the reg select procedure. There are two parts to my presentation. First, I briefly introduce the variable selection methods. Then I use several examples to show you how to perform variable selection in PROC reg select. Let's get started with the variable selection method. In general, there are two kinds of variable selection methods for linear models, sequential selection methods and penalized regression methods. Sequential selection methods provide systematic ways to search through models and fix a sequence of regression models. You can find most of the popular sequential selection methods in SAS procedures, including forward selection, forward swap, backward elimination, and self-wise selection. Another approach to variable selection is to use penalized regression methods. In this video, we focus on four kinds of penalized regression methods. Lasso, adaptive lasso, elastic net, and adaptive elastic net. Penalized methods perform shrinkage and variable selection simultaneously for better prediction and model interpretation. In the penalized regression problem you see here, P is a penalty on the coefficient vector beta, and the lambda is its corresponding non-negative penalization parameter. Penalized regression has the effect of shrinking the coefficients, even setting them to zero. This approach produces a spectrum of solutions depending on the values of lambda. These methods are often referred to as regularization or shrinkage methods. Different methods have different ways to choose the penalty term P of beta. Lasso selection uses the R1 penalty, which has two advantages. First, the R1 norm guarantees sparse solutions. Second, this is a convex optimization problem, so it is relatively easy to solve. In adaptive lasso, WJ are the ways to ensure good sampling performance. They impose large penalties on unimportant predictors and small penalties on important predictors. These are two parts to elastic next selection, the R1 penalty and the R2 penalty. The R1 penalty performs variable selection by setting some coefficient to exactly zero. And the R2 penalty encourages group selection by shrinking the coefficient to correlated variables toward each other. You can also define the adaptive elastic net by adding the adaptive weights to the R1 penalty. Although the last sourcing methods have been shown to be successful in many situations, it has limitations in three scenarios. First, if the number of variables is greater than the number of observations, that is n is less than p, or if the number of important variables is expected to be better than n, the lasso can select at most n variables before it solves, and the model might perform poorly. Second, when there are groups of created variables, the lasso tends to randomly select only one variable from a group and ignore all of the other variables. Third, if the variables have high correlations, you cannot get a good model by the lasso method. There are two parts to the elastic net penalty. The R1 part generates a sparse model. The R2 part removes the limitation of n bigger than p and encourages the grouping effect among predictors with high correlations. Also, the elastic net solution part is smoother and more stable than the lasso pass. Now let's look at three examples using the reg select procedure. This Three examples are related to the three limitations of lasso that we just discussed. The first example involves the case in which the number of observations is less than the number of variables. In the second example, there are two groups of correlated variables in the simulation data. And the third example focuses on the highly correlated case. 
The data set in the first example contains performance information for major league baseball players in the 1986 season and salary information in the 1987 season. Suppose you are interested in modeling the players' salaries from the 1987 season by using the performance measures from the previous season. Also, we focus on the salaries of just the catchers, not all players. The SAS code here show you how to use the lasso method to perform variable selection. The data are split into two parts, the training part and the validation part. The option choose equal to validate means the best model is selected when the minimal validation average square error or ASE is achieved. In this example, the number of observations for training is 15, which is less than the number of variables, 19. This implies that you are unlikely to obtain a good result by using lasso selection. Instead of using the lasso method, you can use either elastinized selection or adaptive elastinized selection. You can specify the L2 value if you have a good estimate. In this case, we omit the L2 value. Therefore, the rec select procedure finds the best L2 value based on the minimum validation ASE. This is the best model selected by the lasso method. You can see that there are six variables in the model, including the intercept. The training ASE is 0.2641 and the validation ASE is 0.3062. Here are the results from elastinized selection. You can see that both the training and validation ASE in the elastinized method are less than the ASE in the lasso method. This implies that, in this case, the elastinized method selects a better model than the lasso method. You can see that the model selected by adaptive elastinet has fewer predictors than the elastinet model. Besides, both the training and validation XE become even smaller. This implies that in this case, the adaptive elastinet method selects a better model than the elastinet method. Let's look at the second example. Here we first have two independent hidden factors, C1 and C2. Then we generate the response Y from C1 and C2 in this way. Also, the observed predictors X1, X2, and X3 are generated from C1. X4, X5, X6 are generated from C2. By contraction, we can clearly see that the variables X1, X2, X3, and X4, X5, X6 form two groups whose identifying factors are C1 and C2, respectively. The within group correlation are almost one, and the between group correlations are almost zero. We will identify the relationship between the response Y and the predictors X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, and X6. A good selection procedure would identify the variables X1, X2, and X3 in the Z1 group together. This is the result of lasso selection. You can see that the group selection is not clear if you use the lasso method. However, in elastic selection, you can clearly observe that the variables X1, X2, and X3 join the model as a group, and they enter the model long before the other group members, X4, X5, and X6. Also, the elastinized solution path is smoother and more stable than the lasso path if you compare these two features. The SAS help heart dataset in the third example comes from the Framingham heart study. The variable age at start is a response, and the medical measure variables height, weight, diastolic, systolic, MRW, smoking and cholesterol are the predictors. You can use the core procedures to compute the chlorination matrix for the predictors. 
you can see some significant correlation between the predicted variables, where the high risk correlation is 0 0.79673 between the diastolic and the syntolic. You can try both the lasso and the elastinite methods to model H as star by using the medical measure of the patients. Here are the models selected by the lasso and the elastinite methods. You can see that elastinite auto performs the lasso in the sense that both validation and the test ASEs from the elastinite selection are smaller. Detailed result from the uh, L2 searching process in the elastinite method. The case where L2 equals zero is the same as L2 selection. The optimal L2 value is 0 0.1, and the minimum validation SE is 0 0.0314. In this video, you have seen how to use the rec slide procedure to perform model selection by using the lasso and the elastinite method. Although the results of the examples show that elastinite method performed better than the lasso method, you need to keep in mind that in practice, no one method consistently outperforms the others. In addition, all the methods involve choices of tuning parameters and optimization techniques for which there are no universal best defaults. In order to decide which methods are appropriate for your work, you should understand that there are assumptions and characteristics. You should also experiment with different combinations of options to learn about their behavior. You can also find more information about penalized regression and the rec side procedure in my paper in the SAS Global Forum 2020 Proceedings, a survey of methods in variable selection and penalized regression. Thanks for watching.